It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. For the last few days, I noticed that Congress has been increasingly woke by the minute. And for this video, I'm gonna demonstrate at least two examples on why I feel this way, because honestly, it's actually getting worse and worse by the day. The first example is obviously what happened and I believe in Congress or whatever, there was like some sort of guy who was doing some sort of prayer. And of course, he thought it was like the bright idea to say a man and a woman. Now, typically I would think this is like some sort of satire, that this is some sort of parody. But guys, the following clip right here is not from a satire, is not from Saturday Night Live. This clip right here is pretty much legit. May the God who created the world and everything in it bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon us and give us peace. Peace in our families, peace across this land, and dare I ask, O oh Lord, peace even in this chamber, now and evermore. We ask it in the name of the monotheistic God, Brahma and God known by many names, by many different faiths. A man and a woman. When I saw that clip for the first time, there was at least three different things that I thought about within that 13 seconds. The first thing I thought about was Justin Trudeau, because not too long ago, Justin Trudeau did something very similar in regards to inclusive language. Instead of saying mankind, he actually said people kind. And naturally, everybody just laugh at the idea of Justin Trudeau saying people kind. And matter of fact, he went as far as to say that it was actually some sort of joke. But we all know for a fact he was not really kidding. It was actually legit what he just did. He was trying to back paddle during that whole entire time period. And so, when I saw that clip for the first time, I immediately thought about Justin Trudeau. The second thing I thought about is the linguistics behind it. Now, I'm not some sort of expert when it comes down to linguistics. I have not studied linguistics. I guess the only kind of similar kind of topic that is kind of related to linguistics was Spanish, because on my channel I have videos talking entirely in Spanish, and that's like the only type of linguistics that I've been studying these last few years. However, I know for a fact that most Americans, at least 70% of us, are some sort of Christian background or have been participating in religion, right? And so that means like every single person, no matter the denomination, they pray to their God, they say amen. And of course, they teach us that amen comes from Hebrew, it comes from Latin, and it means so be it. And so basically that's the whole entire linguistic ruse when it comes down to amen. It does not mean like, you know, hey, you're a man. It means like, let it be so. That's the linguistics behind that word. It's nothing gender about it. And so when that person say amen and a woman, to me, it makes no linguistic sense because the word was never gender to begin with. And the third thing that I was thinking about, really, is that English is one of the most gendered, neutral language imaginable. As a matter of fact, like there are some people that are trying to change stuff like Spanish to make it more inclusive, but English is legitimately like one of the most inclusive languages out there, by far. But they still, for some strange reason, want to change the whole entire language because it does not fit their point of view. And finally, the last thing I was thinking about, and I know I said three earlier, but this is like the fourth thing I just thought about right now this second, is the lack of separation of church and state. Now, it's funny to poke fun at, of course, the idea that amen is like, you know, has some sort of gender, but I'm actually more concerned about the concept of the lack of separation of church and state. Like, what was a guy in some sort of government building doing some sort of prayer to begin with. Because the last time I checked the Founding Fathers, 
I actually advocated for a separation of church and state. The idea of the country was founded as a secular state. And so why are we breaking the rules because there's a Christian minority? That does not make any sense to me. Like I think like for religion stuff, like of course the state should be neutral. And so that means you not, should not promote any sort of religious prayer or whatever. And so it's kind of strange that they were allowed a Christian prayer, but they were not allow like a Muslim prayer or anything else. It seems like still that people are using that type of privilege, but uh, that's besides the point. The last thing I want to cover, of course, for this video is this idea of Congress wanting to use inclusive language when it comes down to referring to family members. Now, according to this draft that I saw on the internet, what they're trying to do is that if you refer to like an uncle or like an aunt or whatever, they don't want you to use that kind of language in documents. And so they decided to, you know, use something that's even more inclusive by saying like, you know, the parent, like the person's relatives or whatever. And when I saw that news for the first time, I just, you know, kind of laugh at this idea because obviously if someone has an aunt, if someone has an uncle, if someone has a father or whatever, that of course, you know, is true. Because we know for a fact that there are certain males and certain females that have roles in the family, right? Of course, we know for a fact that the father is, you know, the one that, of course, helped with the mother to give life to their child. We know that the freaking uncle is, like, you know, related to the father. It's like, why would you try to make it more inclusive? That does not make any sense. Like, who actually gets offended as saying uncle, brother, aunt, niece, whatever? Like, who in the right mind actually gets so offended over that? Like, I could probably talk to most people on the streets. No one gets offended by me saying uncle, aunt, niece, nephew, blee, 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 But for some reason, for some strange reason, it is super progressive to try to, you know, make stuff that's, you know, not stuff that people want, but they still do it anyway. Just that simple, really. Really, really that simple. But uh, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware He smiles like Richard Pryor so just sit and stare It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler